Hey guys, what's up? Thank you so much for stopping by for another episode of Lone Nose, where we help content creators just like you crush it through audio, video, and tech. Make sure you hit that subscribe and bell button so you don't miss out on any other future videos just like this one. I'm your host, Low Nose. Let's get into the tutorial. All right, so today we're doing masks transitions within Vegas Pro. If you don't know what they look like, they look like really cool stuff like this. Pretty sweet, huh? All right, well, right now, we're not gonna waste any more time. Jump into Vegas Pro right now. Let the tutorial begin. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna show you the basics of creating a transparent mask within Vegas Pro. Now, in full disclosure, there are other programs that make this super easy, but understand if you can pull this off within Vegas Pro, believe me, you are better for it. By kind of like working your brain, trying to figure out how can I do this in a program that is not as sophisticated as the other programs, but still very cool in its own, own right. I'm not poo-pooing on you, Vegas. You're still freaking an awesome editing program. But if you can pull off in Vegas Pro, then you in itself are a genius to figure out how to do it within Vegas Pro. All right, enough of that. All right, so let's make those intros that you just saw. Let's start with the easy one first. Uh, as you can see right now, I've got my drone flying here and I'm gonna have like a South Florida, sunny South Florida pop up from the bottom and then go away. And you know, normally you could probably do like a pop up from like the side, the top or the bottom, but you know, we wanna do the mask now the transparent mask, right? Where we just wanna pop up out of thin air out of nowhere. So how do we do that? Well, first let's create a second track, all right? So we're gonna go control shift Q, we'll, we will create our second track. Now we're gonna go to our media generators and create our text first. So I'm going to decide, let's see, let me look at my video footage first and it's gonna fly here. And I think right here, boom, I want my text to come up, right? So. So within my text, I'm going to put uh, sunny, whoops, sunny South Florida, all right? And I'll put my cursor right over it so I can see where it falls in relation. I'm going to change my font to champagne because I think that looks nice for like a South Florida one. Don't you think so too? All right, so we're gonna do that. Now, how do we get this to pop up out of nowhere when it comes to like our, our text doing like a transparent layer mask? Well, we're gonna double our video layer. So watch this. I'm going to control, I'm gonna create a, a third track, control shift Q, third track created, right? Now I'm going to hold the control button and throw the, the bottom video on the top. As you can see now, our video is now covering our text. Not a problem. Let's go to the edges of where our text is. We're gonna press the S button to split the video. I'm going to delete the beginning part, I'm going to delete the end part. Okay, and we're gonna bring down the opacity on the top layer just to see what we're working with. Okay, there we go. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to mask our upper layer. All right, so if you know what that means, let's go to our event pan and crop. Now, remember, we brought down the opac opacity on this just so we can see what we're working with when it comes to masking our video layer. So event pan and crop. Okay, once it comes up, I will go to my mask section. My mask section, I will check on that check mark box. And then I will go to my rectangle tool. And from here, I'll just draw a rectangle across here. And you can see right here, because of my transparency, you can see that my map that my mask doesn't match up with the words. Not a problem. I can just drag this to the bottom. Oh no, I've got this on. I'll just drag this to the bottom. You can see how it reveals my words. So if I brought the transparency back up on my words. Okay, if I see I brought it here, it kind of covers it. And I'll bring it back down there. Let me make sure that my transparency, transparency is nice. I will leave it right there at the bottom. I will bring it back up. There we go. Okay, so it is set. Now all we have to do is just add a really cool push transition. We'll go to transitions, Vegas, uh, go to push, and we'll do a push up. And we'll, we will drag it to the beginning of our text. And then as we play it, as we have our nice cool drone sky shot, it pops up, boop, just like that. You've got your first mask or your transparent layer mask transition, whatever you want to call it, but you can already see what cool things you can start doing. So we're going to keep my South Florida mask layer. I'll get rid of my push transition. I'll get rid of my layer and there. All right, so that's, I think my, I believe, the, okay, it's already there. My, my product, project media is there. All right, so first we want to create our bar, the bar that we saw going from the right to the left. So 
This is actually really simple. We are going to go to media generators, right? We want to go to our solid color. I'm going to use a white. I'm going to put it right here. Okay, I will go to my event fan and crop. All right, make sure you're in position. And go ahead, you wanna make sure that these triple X's, they're off. And we want to make a really skinny bar right here in the middle. You know, the, the width is really up to you. It's all on how you choose you want your look of the motion graphics, the design of it to look. So I'm gonna leave mine just like this. I'm going to mute my bottom layer video because I need this element right here. Um, let me just move this into the center so it's easier for me to work with. No, it's already there. That's not gonna happen. Okay, so now that I have my white bar, I'm not gonna work with this element right here. I'm gonna save this bar as its own uh, PNG picture. Picture. So I muted the bottom layer so I could have a black layer. And when I do, oop, you can you can see how it's unaligned here. Let me go back into my vamp pan and crop, and let's go ahead and even this out. There we go. That's even. Okay, where was I? All right, so now I'm gonna create a PNG file of this white bar so I can use this as my graphical element with that's gonna move over my video track. All right, so I will press the save snapshot file. Okay, that'll do that. It'll I can save it, that'll save to my desktop, but most importantly, it will save into my project media. All right, so here it is, here's my image, my white bar. I can go ahead and delete the white bar that I created. I can just drag down the created element right here now I have my white bar. Let me bring my image back into play and boom, here it is. All right, so what we want to do now is we want to have our bar move from the right, right of the screen all the way to the left of the screen. So we are going to go to the beginning of it. Okay, you can use the arrow, arrow keys to kind of move by frame. Let's go to our track motion within this track. All right, now for this example, I'm, I'm going to stay in position. I'm going to lock my up and down. I don't want I don't want to I don't want this bar to move up and down. I just want to move my bar freely from left to right. So I will go all the way to the right until it's off screen. I will leave I will leave a keyframe there or it creates a keyframe there. I will leave it there. Okay, because because that's where it's going to start off. Then I will decide, okay, so where do I want this to where do I want this to come in? Or it's going to come in. We already know it's going to come in. So I'm going to create a second keyframe just anywhere for now because I, I can always move my keyframes. Okay, I'm going to create a second keyframe and then I'll move it all the way over here and I'll have it stop right here. This this feels good to me. I'll, I'll leave it right there. Okay, so now if we play it, we can see it come into view. Let it buffer up, come in, bomb. Okay, I like that. It come. I like the speed of that. All right, so now what we want to do is we want to add the words. Okay, we've, now we've got to actually measure the words. So I'm going to bring, uh, let's go media generators. I'm going to, nope, let's go back to my project media because I already have my words. I'll bring it right here. And okay, we can see it right here. Now, here we go. As you can see, my word is on my letters, my sunny South Florida is on the top layer. This is a no-no. We don't want the sunny South Florida on top above our white bar or our mask layer. So I'm gonna bring this below it. Okay, so now that my white, my white bar is now on top of the sunny South Florida. Now, let's take a look right now. Okay. Okay, so what I want now is the sunny South Florida to pop in from the left to the right once the bar gets all the way to the end. So. Here we go. So the bar comes in. Boom. I'm going to use my arrow key. And I want to, right here, I want the sunny south floor to come in. So I will drag it here. Then I, I will add a push transition to go from push to the right. All right. So let's see how it is. It plays. Bar comes in. Words come out. Okay. Now, we, as you can see right here, when it comes out, the letters are behind the bar but we still can see it coming in over the actual video. This is where we'll use our mask layer again. So let's go Control Shift Q, create a second layer, okay? Now we're gonna put this layer over our letters, but not our bar, okay? Then I will create a copy of the video again, 
put it right over there. I will create, I'll press S here and S here to split my video. I want the video to be as long as my title. Okay, and if when I play it again, you'll see that we won't even see the words anymore because it's covering the words. So this is where we bring our mask in. And this is also where we actually bring in our, we mark our, our mask layer transparent. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring it over. There we go. So I bring it down, I can see. Okay, now I'm gonna go to, I will go to my event pan and crop. I will go to mask again. And I will create a rectangle that I believe was just as big enough Where the thing let's let's play it comes out okay let me bring the mask up again let's not make it opaque let's take a another preview beautiful that that looks great all right so now that the words have come in now we want the words to wipe away with the white bar and we'll probably make it at this point right here. Whoosh, this is, this is where you're gonna disappear. This is where we're gonna have the white bar disappear. So now pay attention closely right now because we're gonna do some pretty advanced things when it comes to keyframing and moving our graphical elements. Back in track motion for the bar. Now understand that these are my keyframes right here for moving the bar in. This is, this is the keyframe that had our bar all the way to the left. And this keyframe brought the bar all the way to the right. Now, I want to hold this keyframe because if I put another linear keyframe, it's just going to have it move along. So once it gets there, I want to hold this keyframe into place until it hits the next part. Then it can start doing what I want it to do. So like I said, I'm going to, let's go ahead and make sure your sync cursor is on. So it makes it easier to match the timeline on your on your track motion to your actual actual timeline. So this is the part where I want the, probably right here I want the, the white bar to wipe away the letters. So you can see right here, I have it already there. I'm going to create a keyframe. Okay, now you see how it went red? It's duplicating the hold part. I want to undo that and go back to linear because I, I don't want it to hold its position anymore. I want it to move into the next, into the next part. So from here, I think I want my thing to end here, All right? So then here I will I will just drag my my thing off screen. There we go, and it will, it creates a keyframe there. So let's see what it looks like in motion. There it is. Letters come out. Bar wipes. Okay, right now we have to. Have, now we have to match the mask of our of our second duplicate layer to the movement of the white bar. Really simple. Let's go into, we're gonna match up with our, our bars right here because we want to match, essentially we just want to match the keyframes of the moving mask of this video to the exact same speed of the white bar. All right, so I'll, I'll put my, key, my cursor on the white bar. We'll bring up the mask. Okay, and you can see, remember, because we have the, the sync cursor, it is at the exact point where it's matched with the keyframe of the bar. So I can go ahead and just press the keyframe, right? And then I'll and then I'll go to the second keyframe where it exits. Okay. And it creates a keyframe there. Keyframe. And I'm going to tell the computer, hey, keyframe, you are going to be all the way over here. Now, before we get ahead of ourselves, remember. This part right here was our mask. We want to hold it here. And then when it starts to, when we want our mask to move, to move, we want it to transition to a moving keyframe, not a holding keyframe. All right, so let's take a look, a look, last final look. Bar comes in, letters come out and wipe away. Boom, beautiful. And guys, that is how you do it, a mask tran transition trans a transparent mask when it comes to motion graphics guys i hope really hope this video helped you out 
It's really easy. All you have to do is just take the time to kind of understand how the program works. But when you do, you get really cool, awesome, fun results. And you can just add on top of this, just doing more cool stuff. Guys, really hope this video helped you out. Just don't take my word for it. Go ahead, take, take this same example. Take some kind of footage of your own. Do some cool stuff with it. <laughs> just work on your craft so you can get better, better, and better and crush your content creating or whatever kind of game that you're trying to work on. Be the best you can, guys. All right, guys, if you like this video, go ahead and leave a like. If you loved it, feel free to subscribe. As always, leave a comment down below if you have any questions when it comes to Vegas Pro. And also hit me up on my social medias, low nose, sort of, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and all that good stuff. And hang out with the best community on YouTube, low nose on Discord. Guys, until next time, I will see you in the next video. Check out my channel for all the other videos.